Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play music in Java, so let's get right into it. Firstly, import these libraries. You're going to be needing all of them to play music. Next, if you're in NetBeans, you can right click on your project, go to properties, then go down to sources to get the file path of your project folder. We're going to be storing our WAV file, which is the only file you can play using this technique, inside our Java project in the default directory. So we can just put the name of the file and then play it. You can put it in a folder or whatever you want, but this is where I'm putting my music. It's called Look at My Horse Jazz Edition .wav. A real classic if you've been with my channel for a long time. So let's get right into the code. Firstly, string file path. This is going to store our file path of the web file we want to play. Play music file path, that's a function we're going to create in a second. J option pane dot show message dialog null press ok to stop playing. Why have we got this? Well basically when Java plays music it uses something called a daemon thread and a daemon thread is a low priority thread meaning if this thread is the only thing active in your Java program your Java program will close. Java uses these for things like garbage collection or playing music and basically we need to keep the main thread alive so the program doesn't close, so the daemon thread has a chance to play the music. And a great way to do this is with a J option pane, because the main thread's going to not do anything until we press OK or close the box some other way. Let's get into the code. Public static void play music. That's pretty cool. It's a void method, so it doesn't return anything, and it plays music, which is the name. String location is the file path of the web file we want to play. After that, we do a try catch statement. So, try a bit of code. If something goes wrong, execute what's in the catch. Otherwise, just carry on like normal. And we're going to play our music in the try, and in the catch, just print out the E so we know what went wrong. After that, we are going to do file music path equals new file location. So, we're just creating a file object. And we're going to assign it to the file at our file path with our music. Then we're going to do if music path dot exists. So we're actually going to check if the file that we've told Java to play actually exists. Because if it doesn't exist, no point trying. So in the else statement, we do system dot print line can't find file because we can't find the file, so we can't play anything. Inside, we're going to, going to do four lines of code: audio input stream audio input equals audio system dot get audio input stream music path. We are just created an input stream but with some audio in it. And we do it at the file path of the music we want to play. Then we do clip clip equals audio system dot get clip. Basically, we're creating an object. Think of this like your CD player. If you want to play a CD, your first thing is to get or make a CD player. After that, what do you do? Well, you open the CD player to then put your CD in. And that's basically what we're doing here. We're basically giving the audio input stream to this, the clip or the CD to the CD player. And it's literally dot .open, so it's like opening your CD player. Then after that we do clip.start, which actually plays the music. Make sure you do open beforehand so it has something to play. This is like pressing the play button on your CD. I don't know why I'm using a CD player because those are extinct now, I'm pretty sure. But that's it for this code. So if you click save and then hit play, you'll hear a classic. And as you can see, it stopped just after I pressed OK. So that's it for this tutorial. There'll be a link in the description to that song because it wasn't made by me. It was made a long time ago and I just want to give credit because it's a great remix. Also, if you want to know how to do more things like pause your audio, loop it, stop it whenever you want, start it whenever you want, click the eye up in the corner. I've got a few other tutorials that expand upon what we learn in this one. And subscribe if you want to see more Java tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience.